hey foodies welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be making a very sumptuous meal that you would love so if today is your first time you are most definitely welcome and to all my returning subscribers you all are the best stay tuned and let's get cooking so i had meat stock and i didn't know what to do with it so i decided to say okay why not use this for this recipe and i top it up with some water to continue with the cooking and now we're just going to allow it to boil now we just cover the pot and proceed with the cooking hmm you know there are some days that you wake up and you're like ah what do i do with myself and initially i didn't plan to make this at all but then i saw the recipe and i saw a picture on instagram and i was like mm, this meal looks very nice i think i could just try it out for breakfast and then that's how i saw myself in the kitchen creating this because lately i haven't had so much motivation to make anything so i was just like okay this one that the motivation came today let me just film this recipe and have something for you guys so what i'm trying to do now with these potatoes is it has already been washed and it's not peeled but you can decide to peel up the backs if you want but i didn't want to peel mine so once i'm once i'm done cutting them i'm just going to transfer it into a bowl and set it aside and once the water is boiled we are going to add our potatoes and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes so now we just cover and wait for it to boil The next thing we're going to be doing is to nicely chop the rosemary. If you don't have fresh rosemary, you can use thyme. It's completely optional what you want to use. Like for me, cooking is all about art. So whatever you have in the house, you can just play around with it and see how it turns out. But now I'm just trying to nicely chop the rosemary and the garlic together. <laughs> see this banana blender it's my favorite in the house do you know why let's say i want to use a blender and there is no light Tada! this banana blender to the rescue <laughs> there's always something to chop whenever i'm cooking either i'm chopping onions or pepper or just anything and this just comes to the rescue it just saves you back to our potatoes it's been cooking for the past 10 minutes and it is just perfect the way it is now so now we're just going to take them out from the fire and then you turn off the gas so i have a story about how i started food blogging or creating recipes and all that i think it all started by i love eating food like i love eating food i, I can eat anything that is food but drinks mm -mm, i don't like experimenting with drinks but you see food i love eating food so i just started with okay since i make nice meals i could just be taking pictures and then i created an instagram page and said okay let's just be creating pictures and posting and to be quite honest i wasn't proud of the page at first i I didn't want to own up to it so that in case I fail, nobody knows who has the page. So that was just my thinking. So in a heated pan, I've already added the oil and then I'm going to go in with the onions and the rosemary and the garlic. I'm just going to allow it to fry until it changes color. So back to our story. I didn't want to, my initial, my, I didn't want to know that it was my page i didn't want anybody to know it was my page i would just be like posting the pictures and all and at some point i was like okay why not just try, start recording your recipes and posting but then i didn't know how i was going to go about it so i went online and googling some googling some apps i could use and sometimes i don't sometimes if you ask some people what app they use they tell you to either pay them or something and i didn't see the need of having to spend money on it when i don't know where it's heading yet 
we just need the oil and we don't need the rest of the garlic and the ginger we just needed the oil that was infused with the garlic the the rosemary and the onions so now we just sieve it out and throw away the chaff Now we'll go in with about a teaspoon of black pepper, a pinch of salt. So after you added the ingredients or the spices that you want, then we're going to begin to shuffle this as you are seeing it right now. Oops, be careful not to allow yours to fall off. <laughs> Don't over shuffle please. The whole essence of shaking up the potatoes for a few minutes is to give us that outer layer crust when it is done we make sure the ends are well roughened thereby achieving that crust when the potato is perfectly roasted i wanted something to give me that perfect brownish color when it's done and i decided to go in with some dried pepper but you can also use paprika it's also a very good alternative Taking a closer look, we can see that the edges are well roughened, so now we are ready to roast our potatoes. Just in case you don't have a baking tray at home or just like me, I'm using a microwave convention, which is not a big oven. So I'm going to be improvising a baking tin and that will do the job perfectly for you. Just make sure that whatever you're using is well greased and then you place the potatoes in the pan or in tin whatever you have and then the rest we are going to roast them in a pan that is to show you that we can either use a pan or an oven to roast our potatoes the main essence of using the pan is to prevent it from sticking so now we're just going to place that and allow it to roast for an hour and then halfway through make sure you flip them to allow them to roast evenly Using a pan, we're going to add some of those oil that we used. That oil that was infused with garlic, rosemary, and onions. We're going to add the oil and then add in our potatoes and toast and then roast it. So we're going to roast it roughly about 10 to 15 minutes because we're using a pan. And if you're using an oven, it has to be an hour. And then back to our story. After I started recording the recipes, at some point, I noticed that I loved cooking. Like, if I'm stressed like this, I could just... Cooking is like my way out of stress. I don't know if, if it's weird, but I loved creating recipes. And then most times, I would be like, okay, I could watch some recipes. And I find myself recreating them, and they taste amazing. So that is why I said, okay, maybe something. Let's see what will come out of, out of these and then I started posting recipes and two months later, I, was, I think a year later, I said open YouTube and say, okay, maybe we can just open another channel and go move to the permanent site, you know. <laughs> Don't mind me, Sha. <laughs> Please let me tell you, using a pan, there's a difference between using a pan and using an oven. An oven you could just throw it in and then go do your stuff. But if you're using a pan, make sure that it, the heat is not high because it will start, a lot of smoke will start popping out. And then, please, don't just leave this and go. You have to keep stirring and flipping and stirring. I don't think I want to do pan because pan is like... You have to stand there and then oven you just just throw it in there come back 30 minutes later and flip it but whichever works for you though please if you've gotten to this stage and you're still glued to the screen please just kindly click on that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and then click on the like button at least give me that motivation please creating these recipes it's really not easy like it's not easy if it's let me tell you like if it's normal cooking that maybe takes you an hour 30 minutes if you're recording recipes it takes you four hours minimum so please just click on that subscribe button you can even share with your friend 
it really motivates me and it makes me feel like okay there's someone out there who loves what you're doing who is inspired you know at least it will make me feel like i'm wasting my time because really it's a long time in the kitchen so now our potato is almost roasted you can allow it for a few more minutes and then we are ready while waiting for the potatoes in the oven to get roasted we're going to make some scrambled eggs i'm going to use two eggs and some liquid milk the milk is optional but i recommend it you will thank me your food will thank me so now you add the meal to your preference Just make sure you stir it all together and season your egg so i don't know if i'm the only one but i love to play around with some ingredients and see how they come out so i just added some black pepper and i'm going to be adding some basil leaves that is scent leaf I don't like using salt to fry my egg because I don't it doesn't give me that rich taste that I love. So I love to use season cube. But if you like salt, please use your salt. I'm just showing you some ideas that you might want to try out if you love playing around with with food in the kitchen. So once we've added everything, we're going to mix that all up together and make sure it is thoroughly combined. I needed it more creamy, so I added just a little bit of big meal. A little, just a little, but it's just how you love it. Now we're going to add that oil that we infuse. Is that oil? Eh? Hmm. When you garnish your oil, when you infuse your oil with some some spices you're going to love the flavor so because i love the flavor i'm going to be using it to fry the egg as well and you can tell that hmm, this egg is going to be a banger <laughs> hey anyway now the oil is on fire once the oil is hot enough we are going to add our egg and because we are making scrambled egg as the name goes we want it to be in chunks we are going to be doing a lot of stirring a lot of stirring we want it to be in chunks and not whole and that is why you're going to be doing a lot of stirring and mind you once you see that the egg is beginning to change color hmm, it is a sign that your egg is about to get burnt and you don't want that so quickly turn off the gas and transfer to a plate you don't want to get in bonds, do you? <laughs> and I'm telling you with my with my chest that this recipe is something that you would love and you should try it out. Definitely try it out. So you see that these potatoes they are well roasted, they're perfectly roasted, even though the ones on the pan they were a little shade darker, but the crustiness outside and the creamy was perfect. You can have these potatoes with just anything you want. Anything, it could be mayonnaise, it could be sauce, it could be ketchup, it could be anything, it could even be the scrambled egg or any way you like your egg prepared whether poached fried anyhow you like it it is completely up to you and i'm telling you you will definitely enjoy it mm, i'm all about some flavor <laughs> now i'm just going to garnish it with some parsley and i'm telling you that this is mad <laughs> just listen to that crust <laughs> did you hear that crusty on the outside and creamy on the inside what a perfect combo so foodies if you stay to the end of this video you are the real mvp man i appreciate you <laughs> thanks so much for watching 
don't forget to subscribe share with a friend and see you in my next video bye